everyone, welcome everyone to another exciting episode of the Team Skywater Season Challenge, where we are number one. Yeah, we yeah. are. Okay. 14 and 4. I'm loving it. Ben, I think, equipped a new flower boost, so I can't get ready wait. to look at that. I can't wait to see what happens with it. It's it's a new development for me. And I, I like, nice. yeah, because your truck looks so diesel-y and full of smoke, but then you're going to have these cute little flowers for <laughs> it. <laughs> right, right, yep. Yeah. You know, honestly, the key to life is to, to do things that, that almost seem opposing, where it's like, no, no, yeah. no, just because I do this doesn't mean I can't also do this. Yeah. This, I don't know if this counts under that, but you were just telling us a story about how you were going to Canada and ordered rompers for all of you and your friends to wear. Yeah, yeah, for yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That sounds fun. It, you know what? <laughs> Romper day. I was excited about it. So when we were at VidCon, Twitch yeah. gave us uh, romp hymns, romp hymns, which yeah. is a romper for men. Yeah. Um, I tried it on and was surprised mm -hmm. that I didn't think it looked... I was like... This isn't horrible. Yeah. This so, is so for Alice's birthday that we're celebrating, the whole reason why we were going to uh, Montreal in Canada, I bought her like a fun looking romper, like uh -huh. one that's actually like intentionally like, like fashionable little, on right. purpose. Uh -huh. But on the flip side of that, Got for, for you. me, my friends Stephen and Kevin, I had ridiculous rompers on right. the way. Right. Yes. However, they were rendered undeliverable, uh... <sighs> unfortunately but it was gonna make just the most fun day ever. What I'm hearing is you have as many as four romp hymns at your house. No, no, because three of them got lost in the great state of Vermont. Oh goodness. Aww. Yes, so actually I got a phone call from the post office up there today saying, sorry, but we can't send them to you. Well, I know what I'm getting you for Christmas. Anyway, let's play some Rocket League. Beep. Let's do it. Here we go, we're on taking on the old bombers. He's got it, he's got it. I can just imagine you opening a box that is all rompers. That would oh, be. I would be so excited. If anybody wants to ever send me a romper, <laughs> Ben's, um, Ben's in on the romper. What, what, what is your sizing? I um I am probably medium. I am six feet tall, 165 pounds, um, a 31 waist. Okay. So oh. there you go. What's that, my inseam? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, aren't most rompers, like, rompers. like short? They, yeah, they're shorts. Okay. Yeah, I'll be, I'll be fine. Yeah, deal with it. All right, we have a question today from Q hey. the Sparkle. Oh, oh Q. Q the Sparkle, yeah, from the Discord. Yes. I would refer to Q the Sparkle as, like, the most sarcastic Twitter person I know. She's <laughs> really good at Twitter. I, I, I totally agree. Anywho. Then we're off the cross. Her question says... Uh, hey Jordan and guys, yeah! so she clearly knows how to um, word her questions to make me answer them. Yeah, apparently. I would love hey, your- Hey Jordan and everybody else. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> hey Jordan, you're so pretty. I had a question. <laughs> <laughs> did you guys see my flower power? I did, that was great flower. Flower power. Excellent flower power. No. 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 it. All right. Dara, what's your name? It is. Oh, I'm going to the slow play. Whoop. Oh, I'm still back. back. All right, Ball so resuming that gone. question then. Uh, we have a question from Keith Sparkle from the Discord. She says, I would love your advice on this situation. I'm 23, Nerds. live at home, and my parents want me to have a full-time job. Yeah, I have dropped out of college, and I don't have a whole lot of marketable experience. I found myself at a job that I'm in really enjoying and fairly good at, but it's only 20 hours a week and pays minimum wage. The hours are a little bit all over the place, so there's no way to fit in a second job, but there's no option to work full-time here. Living at home, I don't have a whole lot of expenses, and I don't mind keeping this job, but my parents really want me to look for something full-time instead. What sh do I do? Should I keep my current job, or should I try to find a full-time full -time job? Yeah. Uh, I would pose this question by saying, what would you do if you weren't living with your parents? Ah, interesting, interesting. That's a good point. Because I'll bet you wouldn't be like, no, nah, whatever, I'm fine. <laughs> right, right, right. I don't it's, need money. It is very easy when there is when there is like the backup plan to yeah. sort of like rely on it a little bit in terms of how you. That, that's a really good way to put it, Derek. Yeah, I think I think you almost have to approach. No, I can't. Yeah. Approach it as if as if it's not an option. Um, oh boy. Yeah, I would also say that the. Like, you, you probably should go for the full-time job, because whatever job you have that's 
part-time and minimum wage. I just can't imagine. Like, I'm sure you're good at it, probably because it's super duper easy, whatever it is. Not necessarily, but not like, necessarily. It, either way, it's unsustainable, right? Right, it's right, unsustainable, right. 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 Yeah. This, is, this isn't a long-term solution or whatever. There's nothing you're... saying that you can't work both, but it sounds unsustainable. Oops. Yeah, but the good news is, like, one of the things that I think that's just like an old adage is that it's always easier to find a job when you have a job. So the good news is, you have a job that you seem to enjoy, which means... And continue to do what you're doing whilst you hunt for another one. <laughs> and uh, it shouldn't be too hard to get out of your current job because it's only part time. And, and would your advice change? So uh, she did mention in sort of her additional information uh, that she listed that she also has a side gig where she sells baked goods, but she says she doesn't get a whole lot of business. Now, since she's in the Discord, I know that she's posted a bunch of those beautiful cake and cookie pictures that she makes. Ooh. Um, it, they're really, really cool. She does a lot of neat custom cakes, and I think the other day she posted one up that was probably the most beautiful galaxy-type cake that I've ever seen. Oh man, uh -huh. that's super awesome. So, um, knowing that, that, would that change the advice that you give? Well, I think well, that there's... not really. I don't know how that affects anything. Yeah. Right, yeah. I'd, I'd be curious, Jordan, like, what, why, why would it yeah. affect anything? Why does that affect anything? So the answer is, uh, should I get a full-time job? Yes. Yeah. Would it change your mind if you knew that she baked? What, what, I was going to say, would it change your mind if you knew that she was also pursuing a creative passion project that she can make money for? Uh, oh, well, okay. So I think I, I think I maybe could understand this here. So in the event that you were living at home and your parents were able to like allow that scenario, you are pursuing a creative scenario and you're bringing in some amount of income and there is an end game involved, like you are intending to start a business where you're yeah, going like to be able to like building to a thing. Right, right, right. Then I think that there can be an argument made for sort of like, um, as long as you are taking steps in the direction of creating the thing that Ooh, would be... Nice shot. Thanks. That was awesome. Um, then, there's, then there's something there. Then the fact that you have the advantage of, of folks that let you stay there, um, that can be... Yeah. Well, to that end, I would hope, like, if that's your case, that you have, like, a, like a full-on, written-out business plan, like, an actionable steps to pursue this. And it's not yeah, just, like, like, I think it's... Oh. Not like, I'm just doing hey. this right now, Mom and Dad. I think that uh, it's totally fine to rely on people if you are building to that thing. Um, I think that that is absolutely fine. And if anything, uh, I would be sure. But if the situation is just, like... I don't need to make money because I'm with my parents and I'm just gonna not. Right, right, right. Um, that that's such a foreign thought to me actually because I, I think my biggest goal oh, no. Man, uh, upon things. getting out of college was how do I not have to rely on anyone else? Here? Mm -hmm. um, and in the beginning, actually, I had to uh, collab with Jay here. It was kind of like, hey. Roommates. Yeah. Uh, and, and in which case, I relied on the fact that I needed a roommate, um, but it wasn't like Jake. You know, Jake's putting me up. There. Um, no, it wasn't like that. No. But um, then it then worked for, out because at the time I was in fact living with uh, our parents, although I did have a full time job. Yes. Uh, which, uh, <laughs> on the other hand, let me tell you, that is a super duper way to save a lot of money. Yeah. yeah. Right. Full time income. No rent. <laughs> Zero rent, barely expenses. Yeah. Yeah, if you can get that, if you can uh, get a full-time job and be living at home for a while, like, I mean, that's... I mean, if you can stand it, I don't I don't have any problem with people who do that. Like, good on you. You're, You're just right, going to have a lot of money. So the difference there is by choice versus by necessity. Sure. Um, and, and that's what I mean. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. If you're choosing to do it and you can stand living with your parents and, you know, you just are straight like, yeah, yeah. Uh -oh. oh gosh, uh -oh. gosh! Uh -oh. Uh -oh. No, what is happening? I feel like I could have had an angle on that and didn't think it was actually going to go. We got two unanswered on us, guys. This is like Virginia Tech being up in the first half of any football game. Ever. No, and you're like 35 to zero. This is great, and then it's like the fourth quarter, and you're like, guys, it's 35 to 28. Yeah, <laughs> like, uh, I'm not worried. I am. You know, a lot of my enthusiasm is waned. I'm so excited for football to start back up. Oh my god. Oh, oh right. me too. Yeah. Oh! So, so, so excited. Did you say for real football there? <laughs> are, are you Tongue dissing? And Tongue and cheeky. Tongue and cheeky. Okay. okay. Uh oh. Uh oh, guys, again, again. Uh, no. 
Oh, it's so gonna be. How are you? How is this happening? I hate when this happens. We're like, I'm not playing for amazing. I did that and then got yeah, the stuff. Yeah, I'm like right there and then I'm trying to get like around. And, oh, oh, this is terrible. This is terrible. All right. Going, All right. Going in. Speaking of school, we have a question from Raph who says, Hey, Jordan, DK, Ben, and Jay. In three weeks, I am going to school for the first time ever. What? I have spent 16 years being oh. home educated and have some level of social anxiety, so I'm very <laughs> worried about it. Oh, I thought this person was like eight years old. And I'm like, <laughs> you like... are very articulate. <laughs> <laughs> nope, it sounds like we have a, a person who has been homeschooled and is now going to... Um, Standard schooling? What's, yeah, I don't what's know. The... To, to not own a school. Yeah, to public, yeah, public school. Public school. Public school. Or potentially private school. Okay. Well, that's a good point. Huh? Oh, come on. Oh! Oh! Woo! Oh! Woo! First time school goer. Oh, man. This is interesting. Like, I, I, you don't come across this very often. Right, yeah. It seems like either you go full ham on it, like, you know, homeschool the whole way. Homeschool the whole way. I wonder, what the, I wonder why the change is occurring. It just sounds like often I think when you hear about stuff like this, it's by job oh, Ben, go to yes! Woo! Ben with the signature Woo! piece. Ben, I don't understand. I don't know how he does it. I try and do this, it doesn't happen. Boink. So cool. So cool. They both parted the seeds here there. Yeah. Make way, make way. Make way. So, uh, man, this is what a tricky, I'm trying to think. Like, I, so, what, yeah, do I have advice? But I imagine friends? this is kind know. of like going to school the first, like what's your first day of middle school like, you know, like that, that's yeah, kind of boring like... for everyone anyway. Um, hmm. I would, shoosh. <laughs> yep. Shoosh. I know, okay, so Have we I been know, baffled, y'all? We have, uh, maybe a little. I know that whenever, I'll give you maybe my, my first like week of college advice, and I would do this every semester. Um, even when I was like a senior, I would normally you're on campus before the first day of classes. And what I would do was I would literally just go on campus with my schedule and just walk the entire schedule. Oh, yeah, yeah, And yeah. figure That's out where weird. everything is. Because even if you've been in at a school for a while, you can be, you maybe haven't been in every single building or every single classroom or anything. Because some places are big. And that I found like helps get your bearing so you're not like at least confused on the first day. Um, I think the other thing you can maybe do is instead of like, one of the things I noticed about going to college, so this is sort of like the shake up where it's not like the next year of high school where all of a sudden like you're back in the same place with all the same people and like you have like your best friends and stuff like that already. Um, was it seemed like friendships that were made in the first semester of college largely were the ones that pressed on through the rest yeah. of mm, college. Right, sure. So maybe condense your friend making efforts into like, instead of trying to think like, oh my God, I'm gonna have to like, just constantly make new friends and all that. Just focus all that energy on like the first few weeks and maybe just try to find like a person. Uh, yeah, do you, ha I wonder if this person knows anyone at, at the school. school. All right, I was gonna be a nice ball. Oh Woo! yeah, Derek! Uh, I hate this. Rink slash pitch slash, I don't know, yeah. course? Yeah. What is it? Arena. Field? Yeah. I don't know what they're calling. Stadium? I know. The other thing is, is identifying the ringleader amongst a group of friends and yeah. then ask and them to them go. Up. Oh, and then it's That's prison it. rules. You beat them up. <laughs> yeah. You, you beat get, them up. And, and you're the one in charge. <laughs> <laughs> This is how school this works. Is how school works. Right, nobody told you yet, but uh, it is. There's a lot of fighting in uh -oh, school. Uh oh, 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 oh! oh, 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 oh. No! Yeah! Yay! 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 That was nice so follow. Pretty. Nice follow. Yeah. That was fun. I like how that played out. <laughs> yeah, me too. I wish I'd gotten the goal. Oh, good. There's Derek. Way to get up, Ward B. D Rock. I want people who start asking questions to start referring to Derek as D Rock. <laughs> uh, we've gotten D-Rock previously. Not, not like in the comments, but like... Dear Ben G... J... G... 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 Um? Wait, no. what are what are our names, Ben? I don't know. No. Who no. are Get you people? <laughs> no! Oh, gosh. Oh, oh boy. making me uncomfortable! Dang it. No, I just, just like, what's backwards? I tried to go through this backwards because I didn't have enough time to turn around. Ben, J, D-Rock, and Jordan. 
Jordan. Yeah, Jordan. 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 <laughs> That's right. All right. No. Oh, stay on high and slow, guys. I don't like it. I don't know what's happening here. <laughs> I think, I think, you know how I was saying that we are. There it is. Okay, we're clear. Nice uh, clear. Nice clear. I do the same thing as you guys. I just tend to be like a few beats behind. <laughs> I think that's what's happening. <laughs> All right, I have another question from Linguini Robin. Linguini Robin, as, as in Spaghetti Batman, but with Linguini Robin? Uh-huh. Excellent, oh, that's awesome. excellent name, Linguini Robin. There, right. can you just give a hat trick? A little bit. My gosh, all over this. And for someone who doesn't like this level, you're yeah, sure the are best. good at it. All right, Linguini Batman, lay it on us. Robin, Linguini Robin. Uh, Linguini Robin says, Hey, Derek, Jonathan, Benjamin, and Jordan. Full names. Uh, my friends are clearly showing interest in things other than me and are starting to not show interest in me. I assume that means, like, hang out. Should I try to maintain our relationships or just try to make new friends? Um, I feel like we get this question a lot. I know. Different variations. Yeah, Uh, I know, right? This is a, uh, the way you phrased it is so interesting. It's like, my friends are starting to be interested in things that aren't me. Yeah, like The rest of my life, they've only been interested in me. (laughs) I've been the focus of all things. (laughs) I assume uh, this is I Regina assume. George. Yeah, this is, yeah. <laughs> Linguini Robin. Shoot. Regina George is Oh, it. come on! I went from one uh, freaking thing to the other. Uh, there's all see. sort of contrary. I know, we are just like yeah. really got into the game all of a sudden. Uh, oh, boy. Once in a while. What so this first I don't is. know, man. It, it's... Like, oh, it's, as if. It's as possible if. that this is a, you're the center of your own universe thing, yeah. and so you think everybody maybe, like, isn't focusing on uh, you. Right. That's like a good like, I like active, that. The, like, they're actively choosing not to, and you're just, like, internalizing it that way. Right, right, right. Like, it could totally just be the case that, like, nobody realizes that that's happening, and maybe you see, like, hey, like, is it possible that, like, you guys are overlooking me on the invite list, or I got left off the text chain or something? Oh, goodness. Um, because I had that happen with one of our, like, Ooh. good friends uh, with, uh, I host a bourbon club, and we had, like, a big group text with, like, 16 people on it or something, and one day, um, T-Dog arrives, and I'm like, oh my gosh, you had not previously been invited to this, have you, had you, T-Dog? I know exactly the situation you're talking about. I know, but I used I code words. You did, you did. <laughs> you did. Thank you for finally inviting me. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't me. You, you would be. Yeah, I just thought you. You knew. would clearly be be D Dog, <laughs> based on the rules of my elaborate coding right here. Yeah. Okay. D Dog. Um, Whoa. But the thing oh, was, shoot, is that like it was entirely unintentional. I just was trying to um, build together like a big group of people and focusing on like the creation of the event and everything, and it was a entirely an oversight, and if, if T-Dog thought I was uh, in any way trying to exclude him, it would be entirely inaccurate. Yeah, it's worth just talking to your friends. And, oh, yeah. Yes. Yes. Uh, I got blow it up. Um, it's, really, it's totally worth talking to your friends. Like, hey, um, I mean, what's up? My T-Dog? <laughs> yeah. yeah. What, what are you doing uh, being interested in other people or other things? Yeah. They said other things. Other things, yeah. Like, I, like, yeah. I wonder if that means that they're like, like maybe they got into, I don't know, soccer. At first, and you're not this sounded soccer. like drugs when I went to first. <laughs> it's a, you're I, like, I know, it's right? Yeah. My friends have started to get into other things, and I was like, oh, like. I kind of thought that too when we like, first started. Like heroin. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, unless track. it's heroin, <laughs> then, then maybe just let yourself <laughs> be left out. Yeah, right. It's always good advice. Like, it works almost yeah, in every situation. Yeah. We're never not wrong when we give never the heroin advice. Oh man, we just <laughs> recorded the Dobby quiz today. There were so many where I was like, I there's certain answers that aren't wrong, but I don't think are the right answer. Yes! Yeah. Well, I think all of us scored that. <laughs> I'm pretty sure everyone was there. there. We gave it to Derek. We, we held it. hands and walked it in. Look at this. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> boy, boy, that was a save by the bell. Six person high five right there. <laughs> Or a, a two-man kickball catch. Yes. Yes. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. gosh. One of the most glorious moments of our kickball season so far has been a, a top fly that came out to uh, left field. You and, and L-Dog got it, right? Me and me and a different T-Dog. <laughs> we're, uh, 
both going for it. And earlier in the match, we both like shied away from catching a ball, and then neither of us caught it. And so this time we were both like, nope, I'm being assertive. And so we both caught it at exactly the same <laughs> moment, and it was it was adorable. It was pretty great. That guy was he was like double out. I yep. was like, that's two outs. <laughs> That's not really what happened, but it would have been cool. Oh my god, this level! Everything up to the two outs, though, that was... Canon. Yep. Yeah. Accurate. Yeah, I'm going to start going fishing. Oh! Whoa, oh! Honest. Double whiff! Yeah, Woo! no, it's a, it's a, it's a, Nice save. Now we're on the attack, boys. Just like that. Oh, now we're on defense. Oh, Victory oh. formation! <laughs> I was really hoping it's to go. sad. I, you know, one of the bummers about American football is that the, the victory formation is such like a non-victorious looking thing. Right. It's like, like victory formation, everybody kneel. <laughs> <laughs> Protect our guy. Yeah. We should be he like hot, hot, hot. Yeah, I was hoping goals. for the double hat trick there. It didn't happen. Jeez. Well, well played, Derek. Well there you played. Go. Good game. I felt like yeah, I had a particularly. Yeah, yeah. Are you? Did you score more points than? Literally everyone combined? Uh, yep, yep. Just about. Uh, I think just so. about, not quite. Scout did have a beast game today. Yeah. <laughs> oh, two. I'm looking at it. Well. Done. We did it. Was that two wins? We did. Oh, guys, wins. the win streak continues. Of course, the Seekers are last place in the league. We're now three games ahead. And now we are three games ahead. That is amazing. Could we conceivably lose every game? And we still could drop a whole playoffs? episode and still be okay. Could yeah, probably, probably. How many games do we have left? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven until the playoffs. Okay, okay. Should we make predictions about what we think our final final record would be? That twenty-seven games. Ooh. So I'm uh, gonna twenty-three and four, Ben. Really? You, go with, you think we I'm win out? Twenty-two and five. I think we lose one more. You think we? You think, think who's it gonna, gonna be? Lose two more. We are against the Cyclones next match who are second place in the league. I agree. Mm. I think we lose two more. Lose two more. Oh, okay. gosh. Yeah. So depressing. We haven't lost in so long, I forgot what it felt like. Oh. <laughs> oh, it's going to be really bad. That'd be 21 night. and 6? Is that my prediction? 21 and 6? Fine. All right. Yep. I say 23 and, and 4. All right. I'm sticking with it. I'm sticking with and, positivity. 20, yeah, 22 and 5. That's mine. 21 and 6. All 21 right. and 6. All I'm yeah. hearing is that you guys are going to sabotage us <laughs> so that I will be wrong. Hey, Jay, do you even feel like trying to call to action today? Like, just give, oh, it, man. give, give it a Like, little. should I even, like, not even ask people to like, comment, and subscribe? Like, you should definitely ask them to comment what their predictions are for the rest of the yes! season. Yes! Yes! Okay, I will not ask you to like, comment, and subscribe. Um, but what you should do is leave a prediction. What will our final record be for this season? Do you agree we will never lose another game because we're amazing? Or do you agree that we suck like these two seem to think? I yeah. don't know. Winner, like anybody who correctly predicts it, wins a lollipop that they buy on their own. <laughs> <laughs> it's the you get the you don't opportunity. Have to win. We are giving you permission to go buy a lollipop. There you go. You have our blessing. We will see you next time when we take down the Cyclones in embarrassing Woo! fashion. Woo! Bye. Bye.